We are joined alongside by Felice Little Bulldog Herrick. She has a record of two and two. Coming up in the month of January, she is the co-main event of the evening for Hoosier Fight Club 6. Felice, thank you very much for your time. Tell us about your fight coming up. You're taking on a fighter from Team Quest. I am. I'm actually fighting a fighter from Team Quest, Leah Melanchuk. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. Um, but I'm really excited for this fight. Um, I'm, I'm anticipating a good wrestler, um, you know, a good grappler. And I've been working on, you know, I've been working on my grappling a lot. I just did uh, U.S. grappling last week, and that went really well for me. And I'm just, you know, filling in, like, the holes in my game and um, trying to get good at my weaknesses. So I'll be ready for wherever the fight goes. Let's talk about your development as a fighter. You come from a predominantly Muay Thai background. You're on fight girls with a lot of upper echelon female fighters. You transition into mixed martial arts, and you've grown steadily throughout the course of your career? Actually, I started with full contact kick kickboxing. A lot of people think that I'm just a Muay Thai fighter. Uh, Fight Girls was actually my first Muay Thai fight. Oh, really? And yeah, um, so I started with the kickboxing, then I transitioned to boxing, then from Fight Girls I transitioned to um, MMA, and then when I hosted the TV show Combat Wire, I was exposed to the mixed martial arts, the MMA, and and I started doing the, you know, the jujitsu and the grappling, and I really, really tried to become a really well-rounded fighter. I've, I have so many, you know, different, different fighting styles, different backgrounds, and right now I just want to be like the George St. Pierre of female. Uh, I see. Well, you're certainly going along that route. How much are you looking forward to coming up in the month of January when you fight for Hoosier Fight Club, coming to the end of the evening against a very tough opponent? I know it's something that you're looking forward to. It's been a little bit of a long time since you got inside the cage. Some fights have been dropping out for you, but now you get to get back outside the cage. Yeah, I've actually, I'm, I'm really ready to fight. Um, I haven't fought since uh, April. Um, I'm used to fighting like consistently, like every month, every two months. It's actually the least amount of time I've actually taken off not by, by choice um, in between fights and um, I'm just, just excited to go in there with a, with a tough opponent and mix it up and what, what, happens. what can fans expect when they come and watch you fight in the month of January here in Valparaiso, Indiana? Everyone always knows that when I fight, it's an exciting fight. It's always fight of the night, the most exciting fight. Um, I don't hold back. Um, I always put on a show. Um, I'm relentless in there. So, and now that I'm, you know, I'm getting really good training in and just, you know, working on like all all aspects of the game. I don't feel like I'm going to be like, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm ready now. <laughs> well, it's interesting because you don't look relentless on the eyes, but inside the cage. Different story. <laughs> look forward to seeing you fight. Police Lord Bulldog Herrig, HFC 6, coming up in the month of January, the co-main event of the evening. It is in the month of January. Make sure you visit HoosierFightClub.com for all the information on how to get tickets to see this lovely young A fight.